ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, put your hands together for the beautiful, amazing talent of Brother Daryl Stevens. Give him some love. Give him some love. It was a really interesting uh, experience to have people come to me in, in real life and be like, so why, why are you playing such a, such a queen on TV? Like, what was that about? I mean, you know, for me, the question then became, why are you so upset that I'm playing the queen on TV? Why can't you, why can't you embrace that queen? You know what I mean? So, something about, something about us and what, we're, and what we are um, deeming appropriate Go ahead. It needs to be challenged. And I think that show, I, I, thank, I thank that show and Patrick for that show for challenging that, because uh, to have the sissy be the hero was, was actually revolutionary, and I'm, I'm proud to be a part of that show. So. Yeah. so what's going on, world? It's your boy, Dream Chaser. I'm sitting here with the amazing Daryl Stevens. <laughs> Introduce yourself, Daryl. You just did. I'm amazing. We'll, we'll, we'll say hi. I'm amazing. All right, so Daryl, what brings you to Chicago tonight? Art and Soul. Your Gasmic uh, asked me to come and just say a few words on stage and just represent for Chicago and love. Uh, all that good stuff. All right, how's Chicago been treating you so far? Chicago tends to be very nice to me. Chicago, I haven't been to Chicago in probably uh, five years, but when I, when I used to come regularly, I had a time. So, first question is, at what point did you realize that you had attained some level of celebrity? When did you realize that you were famous? Um, I would actually say I probably have not quite realized I'm famous. I, I think that... The first time I realized that people knew who I was was when I was walking to Target. Maybe. Probably after the first season, but before second season, and the show wasn't running anymore, maybe because of the stuff. Right. Like, but somebody said, Daryl Stevens in the Target. And I got one, a couple people would say, Noah, which is, you know, sweet. I get that, I still get that outside this room. I get that. But um, the first time somebody said, Daryl Stevens, it was his brother Target. I think he might even work there. He was like, Daryl Stevens, and I was like, you know my real name? You actually, you actually know who I am. So that was probably, it was probably around 2005. Are there any things that you are, any any projects that you're working on right now that you'd like people to know about? Oh, no, the only thing I'm doing right now, I'm working on an album, um, which is hopefully to be done in the fall, and my novel, my book, which is, uh, I'm trying to get out in March, actually. Okay. My birth month. So you have the novel, and you have the book. So, can you go into what the novel might be about? The novel is about, um, loosely, I'd say it's about young men trying to figure out how to support each other emotionally. It's, 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 I don't want to get too many details about right. the plot, but um, it involves some gay porn. It involves a, a black, openly gay musician. And it involves... Um, a couple drug addicts. If you, Daryl Stevens, had the opportunity to portray any anybody who you might admire or look up to, who would you portray? Alfonso Rivera. Carl. No, no, no. Who is, that? Who, who is Alfonso? No, Carl. 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 Okay, so you it is Carl. When I was growing up, people said I looked like him and he was like things. I always got that, so. Okay. I honestly never thought of, um, I never even considered who I would like to portray. I'd like to portray somebody who, um, you know, I enjoy everything I do. Whatever, any project that I get, I tend to find something that I can latch on to and sort of make, uh, make real for me. So it's not just somebody that's interesting to play. I'm going to have to do it. Okay, cool. So uh, you just talked about you singing. So one of the things I want to know is what's on your iPod right now? Who are you listening to? Janelle Monet. Okay. Um, Always, I loved her since she came out. There's a dude named James Blake who just dropped an album last week. Okay. He's British, um, sort of electronica, oddly soulful, kind of spooky even, but really interesting. Adele, her new album 21 came out I think last week. I'm loving it. Um, yeah, there's so much stuff in my iPod. There's 13, 14,000 songs. Okay. Can, can, couldn't really narrow it down for you, but it's, I like all kinds of stuff. Okay, so before I let you go, I have something for you. So stay right there. I'm gonna go get it. Um, <laughs> so, you mentioned being in Target. Target is one of my favorite places. Anybody who knows me knows at least two things about me. I love Target, and I would live there if I could, 
um, and I spend most of my time watching cartoons. So you know how Oprah has her favorite things? So yes. I wanted to give you a couple of my favorite things, just two. Um, Jennifer Aniston! <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so um, the first, because I, I, yes, this is one of my favorite things. So this is the first. Um, so we have Old Spice High Endurance. One, because me and Isaiah Mustafa, like, he's the only reason that I, I wear it. So this is one of my... That brother, that brother did a, a number for all the spices. Right, because before your grandfather... He changed, he changed the game for all of us. It was like, oh, okay. All right, right, right. And now you want to buy old spice. Yeah, yeah. So I, I want you to have that. And the second thing, of course, as I mentioned before, is that I watch cartoons. One of my favorite cartoons, and I've been watching this cartoon and playing the game for up to 10 years, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. So, <laughs> I am actually just a little ashamed. But, so the cartoon I watch and the game that I play is Pokemon, okay? I know, I'm too <laughs> old for it, but I do, I do. It's my thing, we all have our vices. So, um, so the thing with Pokemon is that, you know, there are these, these Pokemon who you can just find anywhere on the street, and then there are like the legendary ones, the super rare ones. So I went out and I got you one of the rare legendary Pokemon. Oh wow. Which is this one. And I know I might be a little silly, but I had to because because you were so gracious. <laughs> because you were so gracious enough to give me a little piece of you, I thought I would give you just a little piece of me. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank and you. And there's also a card in here that you can read a little bit later because again, I appreciate the fact that Thank you very much. The fact that you've taken time to do this with me. So, Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the love. So I've been working out or whatever. How many of y'all have a Wii? Wait. Y'all got the Wii game? How many of y'all have Wii Fit? I got the Fit. That's the devil. <laughs> the Wii Fit is the devil. I'm just going to tell you, the Wii Fit is the devil. So, you know, check this out. So the boy gets the Wii Fit, right? And it'll come with a little pad or whatever. You know, y'all seen the pad for the Wii. This is the pad and the situation is the pad. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, we're gonna play the Wii Fit. You know, the most I play was Atari, so these new games, you know. I didn't play games on my phone. So, you know, I'm like, okay, we'll do the Wii Fit. So the pad is on the floor. I step on the pad to pass a, oh. <laughs> Yo, what's up, y'all? All right, so you guys will see a little bit of Butterfly Soul's work. Uh, I'll put that in the prequel for I don't know what this means. It's come together. Closer. Okay, okay. You come together. Okay. Uh, so, right now. <laughs> so oh, you, guys, me. you guys will see more of his work. Uh, I'll put the prequel up, or, you know, to this, whatever. Um, so, oh. oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, tell my viewers uh, a little bit about you. Okay, cool. Um, I'm entertaining Butterfly Soul. I'm a comedian, a poet, a vocalist. Um, I'm a different kind of thick gay man. No, um, I've been rocking for like years, man. Um, after doing HBO Deaf Poetry, I did a lot of traveling. And uh, now just looking, you know, to expand my craft. So like there are books that I'm working on that I'll be publishing, and DVD, so people can really see more of my work. Okay. And um, it's a CD, but there's a little twist on the CD. I can't tell you about it, but it's gonna be really dope. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so you mentioned a book. Yes. Really good. I saw you kind of reading from it. Yes. So, do you have it? Um, I do. I have a copy of it. I don't have it with me. Do you have a copy of it? Yes. Is it over there? It ain't close to us, though. It ain't close. What do you mean this? It's not in close? the green room, son. Okay, so... It's a book, though. It's real. Tell a little bit about the book that you've done. So, it's um, Stars and Stripes, My Life in a Poem. Okay. So, you know, I was looking at, like, my business card. And people were like, oh, my God, it looks like the American flag, American flag. And I was like, wow, what would a Negro boy in America look like? And then a, a rainbow Negro boy. And I was like, yo, I am American. I could have been Obama with better shoes. You know, I just knew that I was funny. Mm -hmm. um, and I love making people laugh. There's something about the joy in having people laugh with me and just not at me. Okay. So it's real cool, you know? Okay. Yeah. So I recently did a video. I'm, I'm saying recently. My subscribers know, um, but it wasn't really that recent. It was actually a couple months ago okay. um, for the It Gets Better campaign. Yeah. So there are a lot of celebrities, and I am in nowhere a celebrity. I'm just, you know, I beg to a, a, a regular person. Um, if you knew somebody right now who is being bullied because of their sexuality, what, would you, what advice would you give to them? Um, anybody, you, 
being bullied um, because of your sexuality, you are more than your sexuality. And no one gets to reduce you to your sexuality. And not just the bullying for folks that are straight, even the bullying from other folks that are gay. And trust me on this, people only attack folks who have insecurities around who they are. Now some of you all would disagree with that, but I'm clear. In my neighborhood, the men storm like they're on runways and the dudes are like, yo, what's up, son? I was the one on the block, you know, kind of yo boy in it, and they were like, mm, I think this stuff gay, son. So it was like, it's really about how you respect yourself, and it wasn't until I got comfortable with who I am that, you know, my game changed. If you want to change the game, love yourself. We're going to do a little either or, and this is okay. uh, something that's kind of designed to see, one, what you prefer, either or, and how fast you think on your feet, all right? All right, all right. So I'm going to ask you maybe two or three questions, about three or four. It's like an right. SAT. Yeah, all right. All right, so, and it's your preference, totally your preference. All right, Oprah Winfrey or Wendy Williams? Oprah Williams. Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> you got to choose one. I did. Okay. Oprah Williams. Okay, so why Oprah Williams? Who? Um, because... Did. One wears um, amazing um, Christian Louis Vuitton. Wait, no, they both do. I want them both, man. I want them both. Okay. Okay, Wendy keeps it gully. Like, she keeps it really hood. And Oprah make you want to read a book. Come on. Hillary Clinton or Michelle Obama? Sarah Palin. Oh. <laughs> if there were any song at this very moment that could describe the course that your life has taken, what song would it be? Golden. Golden. Jill Scott's Golden? Yes. Okay. And why is that? Um, because I finally get that I'm a co-creator and I'm living my life. Okay. I like that. All right, so can you let people know where they can find you at on Twitter, online, anything like that? Yeah, you can find me, um, like, if you want to check out one of the shows, www. I say three Ws. Uh, Butterfly Soul, B U T T A F L Y S O U L dot com. And my Twitter is at I A M B U T T A F L Y S O U L. And we're doing a new radio show on E3 Radio. You can check us out at e3radio.org. It's Phenomenal Soul, dope poet name, Phenomenon. She's sexy. We bring you poetry every Thursday on the East Coast and Central. Sexy. <laughs> All right. So, again, I appreciate your time. Give Thank me some you. love. Give me some love. Um, We'll talk after this is done. But to all of you all who are watching, again, as always, I don't know what it is that brought you to this channel, but I love you. I appreciate you. Stay tuned for more. We st what is he doing? We st I still got more coming, so I finally have what women want. It is coming. I swear to God it's coming. I also have an interview with the electrifying Alexis K. Tyler. And for those of you all who are interested, stay tuned for Tea with Ray. So I'll be talking with Ray Lewis Thorne. All these are confirmed. If any of you ladies are watching this and you haven't got back at me, I'm putting it out there. This is your boy Dream Chaser and I'm out. Peace. Straight in the